CataractCoach.com, fixing this overhanging cystic bleb, how to revise the bleb and keep the trabeculectomy working with Dr. Lucy Shen from our podcast yesterday. Now, I've got an 88-year-old female, severe glaucoma, had a trabeculectomy with mitomycin five years ago, not on any glaucoma drops, has good pressure control, but look at that bleb, so thin and cystic and overhanging. Pressure's 11 at the goal, but look at that bleb. It is absolutely coming down, starting to cover the cornea. And so you can see this is inducing astigmatism. It's definitely affecting the vision. It's getting right there on the visual axis. Here's an OCT of the anterior segment showing that luckily it's not invading the cornea. It's just sitting right on top of it. So remove the overhanging part, revise the trabeculectomy, redirect the flow, remove the ring of steel posterior scarring, treat the mitomycin, make sure there's enough conjunctiva, and get a watertight closure at the end here. So starting off here with a limited pyridomy, carefully peeling the blub off the cornea. You've got to be very careful there. And you can see the blub's already leaking there at the limbus. Look at the uh, fluid leaking out. Hmm. So you've got to dissect this superficial layer. Here's using a 67 blade. And you want to free up the conjunctiva posteriorly first and then free it off the sclera. So nice and easy, taking your time. You've obviously edited the video. You can see there'll be a lot of scar tissue there posteriorly. And you want to free that up, get it off the sclera. Remember, the ring of steel, that's that encapsulation. So careful dissection here. And you got to just take your time. Do more conjunctival freeing up. Remove that thin cystic portion. You can see you're grabbing it there with the forceps. The thin cystic portion is kind of falling apart. And now let's watch carefully there. There's that thin cystic portion. It's gone. Get rid of that thing. That's of no value here. And now let's test the flow. And is it flowing? So injecting BSS via paracentesis, you want to see, does it flow? And if it's not flowing enough, what can we do? So you can remove some scar tissue here, which is closing up the flap. But you see, if you take that suture out, you may get some hypotenuse. You may want to replace that. Look at that fluid really flowing there. To avoid hypotony, maybe place an extra suture here. Re replace the one that you removed. There you go. Looking pretty good. Get that place nice and easy. And then, of course, after this is done, you're going to have to test it again. So you want to test again. If you have any other adhesions of the sclera there, you want to remove them as well. So here you go, more BSS by the paracentesis. Testing it now. Looks pretty good. Again, you want just a little bit of leakage there. And then here again, removing any more little scar tissue here. That's good. And then, you again, if you just cut that suture out, yeah, you may have to replace the other suture as well. So again, you want this thing to function beautifully. And uh, to prevent posterior scarring, what do you want to do here? There's a mitomycin pledget. So you're going to get a little sponge or pledget soaked in mitomycin, place that after you remove it. Just get a thorough rinse off, lots of BSS. And then it looks like a little bit of cautery here for limbal vessels to prevent the epithelium from growing under the bleb. That's an interesting technique there. And then you're going to close this conjunctival up with 9 vicro sutures at each corner. Very nice and easy. Those are 9 vicros. And then you're going to do a horizontal mattress, 10 -0 nylon. So let's watch that one. So here's the vicro being th thrown. And again, at the end, you can test everything one more time. And Dr. Shen sent this video in after she saw a previous glaucoma video we had on Cataract Coach that showed a different way of fi fixing a thin cystic bleb here. So she had a different idea, and so this is why we're featuring this video too. Now here comes that horizontal mattress suture of 10 -0 nylon. Looks like going in forehand, then going backhand, and you're going to tack down the conge right there at the limbus. There you go, nice and watertight at the very end here. You can check everything to make sure the pressure's good and you've got the outcome that you desire. Interesting choice of a horizontal mattress suture there. And that looks great, nice and watertight closure. Interesting technique. Let me remind you, check out our Retina Rounds channel. That is now featuring a video every single day, retinarounds.com and youtube.com slash at Retina Rounds. Check it out. Now you're asking, how does this patient do? Here you go, post-op month one. Looks great. Pressure still well controlled. Vision's good. Again, check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website, and of course, retinarounds.com. Such great material just for your benefit.